If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard the term turbo hybrid era. For example, you might have heard pundits and commentators saying Mercedes were dominant in the turbo hybrid era. In this video, we will look at what is the turbo hybrid era and its significance in Formula One. Let's get started. Turbo hybrid era is a term used to describe the time period between 2014 and 2021. Before the start of the 2014 season, the FIA made some major changes to the engine regulations. The 2.4-liter V8 engine used until 2013 was replaced with a 1.6-liter V6 engine. A fuel flow restriction of 100 kilograms of petrol per hour maximum was introduced. The maximum revs was dropped from 18,000 RPM to 15,000. To achieve higher and more efficient power output, the new V6 engines were fitted with a state-of-the-art turbocharging system, which was able to maintain the performance level of a V8 engine while enhancing fuel efficiency. The previously used KERS system was replaced by ERS, Energy Recovery System, which is comprised of two electrical devices called motor generator units and the battery, which is called the energy store. The electrical devices are often referred to as MGUK and MGUH. The combination of the MGUH and the MGUK is often referred to as a hybrid energy recovery system. Knowing this, the name Turbo Hybrid Era makes sense. There was a new turbocharger and a new hybrid energy recovery system. Mercedes were the dominant team during the Turbo Hybrid Era. They were able to best utilize the new regulations and won every single Constructors' Championship from 2014 to 2021. They also won every driver's title from 2014 to 2020, with Lewis Hamilton winning six titles and Nico Rosberg winning one. Their only defeat came during the last race of the Turbo Hybrid era, the controversial Abu Dhabi 2021 Grand Prix where Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton raced for the championship. The controversial decisions taken by then race director Michael Massey allowed Max Verstappen to overtake Lewis Hamilton on the last lap and win the championship. Hope this video helped you learn about the turbo hybrid era in Formula One. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.